to A Self Defence. Today I'm going to do another warm up um, session that you can join along with. There is already a warm up session on this channel, but I'm going to do another one, a little bit more difficult if you want in um, a tougher one, or if you're getting bored of using that one, you can use this alternate one. So, this warm up is ideal for any kind of martial arts, karate class, um, to start training, or you can use it on its own, do a few rounds of this. Do an hour's worth of this if you want, and that will be a, a full session. So let's go. So we're just going to start, just jumping on the spot, just getting nice and warmed up. Shake your arms, shake your legs out, just start warming these up. It's going to be probably about 10 to 15 minutes. That's all you need. And don't forget, you need to do a, a cool down at the end of whatever session that you do, whether it's with me or if you're doing your own session. Okay, let's go do some star jumps. Let's get the heart rate up. Awesome. 
feel my shoulder clicking with this one. So it's good to warm up the shoulders. Okay, watch back in front. I'm switching the stance and switch to right foot in front stance. <coughs> Okay, and relax the arms, just slow down the, the jump in. Okay, so should be, not be warmed up, I've got a bit of a damper actually, but uh, you might not have, but you should be feeling more warmed up, heart rate should definitely be increased, which is the idea of the warm up. And we've loosened up the legs, loosened up the arms, the shoulders, and whatnot. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a circuit, I'm going to go for three rounds of uh, we'll keep it simple, three exercises. We're going to increase the difficulty of the exercises. <coughs> okay, so again, this is just a bit of a more tougher warm up. If you can't do the increased difficulty version, let's just stick with the simple version. Three exercises we're going to do. We're going to do some squats for the legs and back. Going to do some press ups. And we'll do some, do just some sit ups and variations of sit ups. Yeah, let's do them. So squats, press ups, sit ups. Before that, let's do another thirty star jumps, and then we'll do those. Fast as you can. Ten more for me. Okay, relax. We've done now. Let's give yourself a, a breather before we get into the, the tough work. It's not going to be too tough. It's only three, three exercises in three rounds. We will do ten of each exercise. So it's only thirty reps of each exercise altogether. But we're going to make them harder as we go along. And you guys can obviously adapt this. You can do as many rounds as you want, really, until you feel that you're warmed up. But within my classes, I teach an hour class. I would say 10 to 15 minutes for cardio warm up is enough for the hour class. And then we're going to finish off with some stretches, which I'm going to do with you as well. So 20, 25 minutes warm up is, uh, is definitely long enough. Right. So let's go. So we'll start off with squats then. So the first set we're going to do is normal, easy squats. We're going to start with our feet pretty close together. Um, or maybe hip width. Yeah, but we'll start with hip width. So hopefully you can see my legs. We're just going to do normal squats. So when you're squatting down, I'll show you from this position. Just squat down as far as you can. You can reach your arms forward. Try and get your, your legs uh, at least parallel to the floor. Uh, even more if you can. And then up. Okay, so... People say that you have to be parallel to the floor for it to benefit it. If you can't get that far, then you can't get that far. It's fine, just go for those you can. But try and get parallel if you can. Then. Oh, let's go, let's do 10. One, you can reach forward to the balance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, I'm feeling those already. Okay, next one we'll do is press ups. We're just going to do normal press ups. Uh, hands about shoulder apart, back nice and straight, and you're just bending your elbows until your nose comes to the floor and back up. Try and keep your back straight all the way through. If you can't do normal press ups, just go onto your knees, same thing, lower. Bend your elbows so your nose touches the floor. Uh, if you're finding that too easy in that position, move your knees further back, further back move the knees. Difficult to come. We'll try and do normal ones, because normal ones are not that hard. Okay, hopefully you can see me now. Just get into camera position. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
you can't do these plyo press ups, just do normal ones or spine man ones. Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just about that way there. Last round. I'm going to go for jack knives. <sighs> okay, I don't know why I decided to, to record this just after a gym session. I must be mad. Okay, so jack knives, a little bit like crunches. You bring your head and shoulders off the floor. At the same time, your legs are coming, but your legs are coming straight. So you beat at the top, so it's like this. <sighs> My legs don't go very straight. It's as straight as it's going to go. So, easiest way to do these is to get your legs up first and then meet them at the top. Try and touch your toes. Easier said than done. You can't manage these, just go back to crunches. Let's go. One. Breathe out on the way up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. So I'd like to say, if you don't feel that's enough for you, go on, do four, five, six, anything up to eight rounds of those, um, increase the reps, uh, increase the intensity, that's excellent warm up that for any kind of martial arts class. I'm just going to finish with some stretches, as you can see I'm really sweating now, just going to check, we're still rolling, excellent. According to my calculations, that's 15 minutes already, so that's perfect timing. So, just finish with some stretches and then we'll get into a class. So after you've watched this video, you've definitely warmed up enough to then attempt any of my classes on the playlist. Right, so we're just going to stand feet, shoulders apart, nice deep breaths, hand on hips. We're going to take that ear to the shoulder to your left. Just get that breathing under control. And change. And again over to the left. Just stretch out the neck. And change again. Okay, just take the head forward. Don't force it, just like the weight of your head. Stretch out the back of your neck. And take it back. Just like the weight of your head. Stretch out the front of your neck. And again forward. Hopefully by now your breathing is back under control. The faster you can recover, the better it is for your fitness. And back again last time. If you're still breathing heavy, try and get that breathing down to normal as quick as possible. Because the quicker you get your breathing back to normal after a cardio session is, the better your health. I just got an itch. Okay, take your arms forward and make big circles. Loosen up those shoulders. And backwards, head backwards. Throw them back. Okay, take your left arm across and stretch out the shoulder. And that same arm, take it back. So have it back here. Push the top of your push your elbow back, stretching out the tricep. This is the muscle that we use for punching. Make sure that's stretched out. And when you're done there, just shake that one out and take the other arm across the shoulder stretch. And take that one back for tricep stretch. circles in one direction and the other. Okay, put your feet together, put your hands on your knees and make circles again one way and change other way. Great stuff. So feet shoulder width apart again and we're going to lean over to the middle 
Try and switch your toes, or as far as you can if you can't switch your toes. Make sure your legs are straight. If you can touch the toes easily, get your hands on the floor. As much as your hands on the floor as you can. Breathe into the stretch. Nice deep breaths as you're stretching. Helps you to go deeper. Okay, get the uh, legs about two shoulders apart. Grab your left leg with your hands and pull your head down towards your knee. And change. And grab both your legs and pull your head down to the middle. Keep your legs straight. Should feel a stretch on the down all of the backs of your legs, from your calf to your hamstring and even your bum, if you're lucky. Okay, great stuff. So stand up right and just drop the legs out as wide as you can. Oh, not very wide for me. If you don't do anything but practice stretching every day, then you will see big improvements in your, in your flexibility. So if you don't get time to practice your martial arts or do any kind of exercise every day, then if you spend five, ten minutes just practicing stretches, you'll see a lot of benefits. Um, after a few weeks, I'm going to start to do start to do that myself and. Even after a couple of weeks, you notice you become more flexible, just stretching every day. Right, get your hands on the floor then. See if your feet can go even wider. I'm not quite at splits yet, but I will get there. Okay, and from there, sit on the floor. Put your feet together. And lean forward. Try and touch your toes. And uh, also start with your toes in, grab your toes or your ankles if you're flexible enough, and then just slide your feet out, walk your feet out. That's always a good way of getting you to hold on to your toes and just hold it there. Try not to worry about getting your head down so much as getting it forward. So try, you try to get your head more forward than down. Okay, get your feet as wide as you can. Lean forward to the middle as far as you can, whilst keeping your legs straight, flat on the floor. Toes up, if possible. And again, lean forward, don't be back getting your head to the floor. Try and get your hands forward and your head as far forward as you can. You can feel that stretch of low on your lower back. Okay, grab your left leg, pull your head down to your knee. Change of the leg. And one more time, middle. I'm kind of rushing these stretches. I do like to hold them a little bit longer, but I'm a bit late of time. So I'm just rushing through these. Try and uh, spend as much time as you need stretching because you need to stretch so that your body is, is stretched enough. Right, that's it. Jump up, give your legs a shake, and then you're ready to start any kind of martial arts class. Hopefully, you're going to check out one of my videos and start and do one of mine. I'm going to upload one myself right now, an advanced one, so you have to be a member to watch the one I'm going to upload now. Um, so check out my website to become a member, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until next time, stay safe.